Sorry about that, y'all. Didn't know my camera actually cut off in the middle of my review. So this is part two. So jumping right back into it, what I was speaking of, I couldn't uh, show you the rotation due to the fact I was reaching around my camera. But if I hold this here, you can hear it. Hear that clicking? So you can actually still rotate the arm even though it's under this PVC uh, plastic, soft PVC. That shit is nice. What I was saying earlier, well, you can bend the arm. You notice it holds the actual pose. Really, really good stuff. Uh, just be careful because this is really tough, actually. Like, you got to put some strength behind that. So, for the people that be beating their meat, they should be perfectly fine bending this arm. For the people that's pretty normal, just know to hold the arm and put some strength behind that shit. I'm just being funny. But, uh, yeah, just be careful bending that because you don't want to tear nothing off uh, or tear nothing up, rather. Now, going down to the wrist, right? So, it's on a standard ball peg. If you pull this off, what I do like, which this does come off pretty easy, so you don't got to fight with it, they actually decided to put a screw, which I don't understand why other toy companies don't go with this method. Um, maybe something wrong happened and they choose not to, but I think this shit is great uh, because all of us, I'm pretty sure, every single toy collector that has any type of 1-6 scale toys, that's not Hot Toys because Hot Toys, toys is pretty fucking solid, but uh, anybody else for the most part, their wrist pegs are like fucking horrible and it loves to get very loose and be all janky and all that other great stuff, so i actually really, really happy they did that. Um, I can tell you right now, his arm does support the weight of his huge ass sword, which I will show you at the very end of this. Um, but it does it really, really well. So I'll keep that arm bent just so I can show you later. But this arm, now this arm pretty much has the same bruise applied. The only thing is have to be even more careful with this arm versus the other arm because this is this fake arm, which the Metacom one also kind of came across this same problem uh, of having, you know, being super delicate on this side. Now, this is why you need to be super delicate with this particular version. So, Metacom version had just a rubber spring. This actually has a real metal spring. So, you fuck that up, you're done for. So, be careful on that. Uh, also, this arm can bend down there just as much as the other arm. But you really have to find a good spot to hold to bend that muscle so you won't damage this. When you do start bending the arm, you have to pay attention to this because this can actually come undone. Uh, but you can't put it back together. You just don't want this to get damaged. That is your biggest concern. Not really up here because this is just pegged in technically. This is real metal. so Or a really hard plastic. I think it's metal though. But that's really nice. The hand actually rotates, so hold the arm so you won't damage nothing, and you can rotate at the forearm. Which in my review on the Metacom, I didn't know that can move on the Metacom, it actually can. So that's the nice part about that. Now going down to the wrist, which I will show you one second, he actually has his cannon arm as usual. Now he has better clearance, so he can drop that wrist a whole lot easier. You can see the actual cannon hole there. Uh, nicely done and it can actually go up not in a way nice part about this particular toy versus the Metacom one he has movable fingers and they're really really stiff so they work really well thumb works well thumb actually can rotate around it can fold in it can fold up like nicely uh, done hand now going down and while I'm on his mid section Go ahead and focus for y'all. Two more accessories that you can actually remove. I wasn't thinking at the time. Was you can actually remove his dagger. Okay. And you can remove all of these throwing knives. Uh be honest with you, I think they should have gave us like a hand that's designed for the throwing knives. Because it's kind of fucking useless that these can come out some people was really like oh you can have the nose get pulled out whoop you fucking do but if you don't have a hand that can hold it it's, it's kind of fucking pointless but whatever is i guess it's a nice accessory that you actually have this in my eyes is just more shit you can lose but that's just me um but pretty good 
nicely done, nice and weathered. Okay, and this knife, really nicely done, nice and beat up. So you do get that. Now the knife pouch has a tendency to get in the way of everything, so just be careful because that's also now this is what Medicom did that I think that was better. Uh, Medicom has plastic, right? So most people, oh, you get real fabric, that's clearly better, whatever, whatever. But people don't think about the long-term situation. Now, if you're just posing this and you're never moving it, then absolutely, it doesn't fucking matter. But in this case, it does because on the plastic one, right, his knife is, one, out of the way, and two, can be removed from his body along with the pouch on the Medicom. On this one, there is no removal. And because there is no removal, it's fabric holding onto fabric. So if you have the tendency to, you know, not pay attention and happen to move his arm the wrong way or rub your hand the wrong way across this, you can actually probably rip that directly off his thing, off his belt. And once again, you're screwed. So just be careful with that. Make sure you got clearance while actually rotating the waist. He can rotate. It's just really, really hard. Uh, further as leaning forward and back. He probably can lean way more back than forward. Uh, also, be careful while doing that just because he is latched on on his belt. You don't want to tear up none of the actual hooks that hold, hold his belt together. Okay? So, just be careful with that. Now, going down to his groin area. Let's go ahead and bring his camera down a bit. Now, this part was actually done really stupid. Um, or just wasn't really thought out well. So I won't say stupid. It really wasn't thought out well or stupid. But thing was, he actually has straps on the side. Okay, Medicom executed this a lot smarter. What they could have did was extend this fabric, really, really long fabric, and just have it tucked away in the actual leg armor. What they did, they glued it up here. And it's supposed to be glued to this, which I can re-glue it back if I wanted to, but I'm not. The reason I'm not, this is one of the flaws that came with this version of Guts versus Medicom just nailed this completely out of the park. I'll show you the difference. So if you notice right now, let me focus so you can see exactly, that's where the leg piece is supposed to go. This is where the leg piece will go if that part is not attached, which I am fine with. I'll tell you why I'm fine with it when it comes to this particular figure. On the Metacom one, right? So I just said it, it's tucked away pretty. Now, Metacom did a little bit different. What they did, which made this a whole lot smarter, was they made it where the leg piece actually has a plastic buckle and you slide it into up there into his belt so nothing actually separates the thing is the proportions on his armor is correct on the Metacom version and not on the 3.0 version so if I actually bend his leg up right on a Metacom I can do a full bend no problem nothing in the way everything's fine okay now let's look at this 3.0 version 3.0 version this is where the problem comes into play 3.0 version let's say this is where it's supposed to be so I'm gonna hold it exactly where they want the armor to actually stay at and not be moved. If I put this leg out, which the leg art the leg is on a ratchet joint, which is really nice, and actually has a lot more clearance uh in the movement than Metacom. So I'll give 30 that. They actually did a lot better job on the leg design when it come down to clearance in the crotch area. But when it come to bending, right? So if this armor stays up here, when you go to bend it, what happens? you start squeezing and you can possibly tear the fabric and then he has this what the fuck is this He has this naked ass leg down here and then you have this part just look really really tacky once again look at both there's Metacom nicely flushed this not so much uh... what they did is pretty much just make it they put it in the wrong position, in the wrong place. Now, you won't have this problem because if you actually put it back out, let's drop this down. It, only way this can drop down, it has to be detached from that part I was speaking of. Now, if I bend his leg now, you can actually get a more realistic bend. Problem is, now I can't do a full bend. So, you're going to take one or the other. Like, okay. 
if you move it position it right you can get a bigger band once again that comes back out so it's whatever you like but this definitely was not really engineered too great but like I said ratchet joints in the hips so you get a nice amount of range he kicks out pretty far he comes out pretty far you're good on that you already seen that he does have a double ball I mean a double hinge on the knee he can rotate at the leg but to be honest with you in this armor you're not gonna be doing too much rotation you can but it's kind of pointless going down to the foot him and Metacom and 3-0 kind of took the same route which I think is really really cool and really really smart this is actually a whole separate part Let's see if I can focus for y'all so you can see it's a whole separate part like so from here going down it almost reminds you of um, I can't think of the name I know it starts with an S I believe but they use it like in like the band like band people put it over their shoes uh, it's kind of designed like that so this boot is separate from the foot itself so it's not stopping the foot of doing poses when need be it actually looks a lot more flush and it actually stays together where the Metacom one has a tendency will actually uh, either get loose or the armor on the Metacom will force the foot completely off of the uh, the joint so this actually came out a lot better uh, when you remove the the ball the ball joint on the ankle on the 301 the boot will come off so you will know if you actually screwed up and you know went down too far wherever the case may be now what I'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna show you how he looked geared up so let's go ahead and put some of this stuff on Now what I also like what they did was the way they designed this cape, it just works really, really well when it comes down to being on him. Guts little insignia should be over to the side a bit. Alright. And I'll just do some random bends so you can actually see how flexible and how strong this cape really is. See if I can come back a bit so I can actually show y'all from a distance. But yeah, see, holds his pose, doesn't drop, really nicely done. He on some Batman shit. Now, further as the sword, let's go ahead and put his sword in hand so you can actually see. It's always better to put the hand on the sword before equipping it on the toy. It's pretty easy. The fingers is like a a really really I ain't gonna say really really soft because it wouldn't hold it if it was, but it is a softer plastic, so it actually got a whole lot of give. You don't have to try to fight with your figure trying to put on, you know, this hand on his weapon. Uh the only thing that sucks, I will say, I can't lie about, is that he's so bulky. If you want to do any poses that consist of him holding his sword with two hands, you can go ahead and say F that. You can make fake illusions in the photography to make it look like he's holding it with two hands, but I'm telling you right now, he cannot do it. You will break your shit if you attempt to. So you can go ahead and forget it. I don't care how long this handle is on this sword. Stop lying to yourself. It ain't gonna happen. I was upstairs messing with this figure for quite some time trying to actually see if I can pull it off because of course I want to go out and take photographs of them but yeah that didn't really happen too well due to that fact alone now I'm gonna go ahead and try to angle him to hold his own weapon in one hand without using any stand and I'll show you That he can actually do it on his own. And there you go. That's him holding his sword on his own. I'll even come back a bit so you can know I'm not cheating. Nothing, nothing up. See that arm starting to fall? Yeah. Can't support it for too long. But he can be done. You just got to angle it right. So, that is my guts. I laid him down because I don't feel like I'm trying to fight with him and talk on the camera. But, that is my guts review. 
hopefully all of the ish, uh, all of the info that I just went over helped you. Sorry for having a two part video, but due to me not having the software I need to combine those videos currently right now, yeah, you got two parts. So just look at it like extra. Yeah, I'll use that word. But y'all continue to collect and shits. Y'all have a great one. I hope this review helped out. And what do I think about this figure? To be honest with you, it's a great figure. Has little hits and misses here and there, but what toy doesn't have a hit and miss? You normally have something wrong with a toy. Nothing is 100%. You might have people that's just like too big up things because they own it, but you already know my motto. I don't give a shit if I own it or don't own it. Some shit suck. I'm going to say, y'all continue to collect, motherfuckers. Bye.